All right, in this video, we've got to install. Got to go by the hardware store and get a few things. Got to get um, some PVC pipe, three, uh, three pieces. Two of them is going to be put in the ground to put the box with the Edge Router X in it. H router X, the air cube in it, and then the other piece, I think they're like three foot long. I'm gonna cut one in half and be able to use it to strap the CPE on it because the old M5, you'd be able to put one screw through the mount bracket and it screws right to like a wall or a tree, whatever. These new CPEs I'm using does not have that capability it only straps onto something so we have to put um something on the tree to be able to strap to it unless i go get one big three foot long zip tie and wrap around the whole tree um but this is the only way that i know right now and be able to actually screw it to the uh to a pipe and screw the little pipe to the tree itself or whatever structure I'm going to screw it to so it has a little pole to strap it to but let's go get the three pieces of pipe and get over there and get these two done it's uh what time is it It is 10.30. So let's, uh, got the ladder strapped on top. Go get these PVC pipes. And go get these two installed. It looks like it's going to try to rain. I haven't looked at the weather lately. But uh, we'll see if it does not. I just hope it stays cloudy so I can get these two done and get back to my RV and relax a little bit before I have to head back to um, the house because daughter's got to go to work tomorrow and that's early in the morning. So let's go get these done. Okay, we're going to do lot 32 here. It's going to be a easy one usually all of them are you just have to sometimes scratch your head to figure out how to get it installed everyone's kind of unique of its own but this one's going to be the basic we're going to put one of the pipes right there put the box on it run the wire over and up that tree and get it up high enough over the rvs because the ap is right over there three rvs over I can almost run a wire looking into getting some kind of a little trencher or something that uh, make it easier to run wires in the ground something that would not really expensive but get it in the ground at least three or four inches because the uh, way I do it now it's uh, it's hard to get it through some of the grass and stuff. That's the hard part. After you get into the dirt, you know, it's real easy to uh, to get the, get the trench going. But uh, need something to get the ground broken. So I'm going to look in it. But right now I'm going to get this one up, and then we got somebody back back that direction of uh needs internet too so we're going to knock that one out okay we got this box put here now we just got to run the uh wire for the cpe which will go over here go up the tree hate having it in the walkway but this is when uh be nice to be able to trench it a little bit and put it in the ground but this wire is not made to go in the ground. That's why I need to do that. But either way, that's where the power is. Okay, 
But like I said, you have to think outside of the box. If I run it crossed here, yes, it's going to be a shorter distance to go up this tree. Why not take it and run it down this way? And run it up this tree. Which would be out of the walkway. But then, when they cut the grass, they have to watch out for the cord. So, you know, either way, have to figure out a way to get that done. That's not good at cutting grass. And there's an electrical cord all up in the grass itself. Ooh. Imagine if the, unless they use the weed eater here, now that'd be okay. But not a lot more. Just got to figure out a way to get it over there without it. Really not much of a choice but laying on top of the ground. All right, got the uh, CPE up on the tree. Now we're gonna make the wire, run it down, attach it to it, run it across, plug it in, activate account, and we should have this one done. All right, got the box down there, the wire in it, pulled it up. That is some stiff wire, extremely stiff had to have a pair of strippers to pull the outside coating off of it instead of just wiggling a little bit and, and it'll pull off couldn't do it not by just hand all right got that plugged in now I'll go down there and pull it out long enough to get into the box put an end on it plug it in and then strap it to the tree Alright, let's put a lock on this one. I'm checking that it's actually going to be working. So we're going to go ahead and put a lock on. I think got lock actually in it. Yeah. So I can, uh... Okay, let's go see if we can activate this count. Turn this on. does that one pretty much didn't or was not able to record like right at the end because they started talking and the next door neighbor started talking started asking questions of how much it costs what does it take to get signed up and all and now next Monday come back and get the next door neighbor so now we can go look at uh, 49 and see what it would take to get that one actually up and running what pole I need whatever you know just see what it's going to take and you'll see that one in the next video but thank you for watching subscribing liking commenting and sharing See you in the next video. Take care.